West Ham now appear to be in second place in their takeover stakes. The Icelandic bid seems set to succeed next week. DDA Drogba is second to no other striker just now. 14 goals so far for Chelsea and the winner for the Ivory Coast in midweek. But Germany's goal scorer Michael Ballack is rested today, no doubt with four bookings and Wednesday's Champions League visit to Bremen in mind. Frank Lampard is suspended for that match and today against his old club needs one goal to become Chelsea's highest ever goal scorer from midfield. Anton Ferdinand is back from injury in central defence for the Hammers. Lee Bowyer returns to midfield and their tactical plan, another version of the one they used effectively against Arsenal two weeks ago. Well, <laughs> that's a friendly handshake between those two managers, isn't it? Jose Mourinho, whose Chelsea team are unbeaten in 50 league games here at Stamford Bridge, 44 of them under his control. Lampard. Searching out Shevchenko, Gabidon is the defender. Mike Dean gives a corner. Now, West Ham are well aware of how Chelsea score from more set plays than any other team in the Premiership. John Terry is forward, Cavallo is forward. And Terry and Cavallo go in together. John Terry is convinced his shirt was pulled there. Watch John Terry here. It's difficult to see, but he seemed to think his shirt was pulled. Shevchenko's touch, Drogba, oh he's so strong and Gabidon has given away a free kick right outside the area and I think he'll be booked. It's a yellow for Danny Gabidon for this foul on Drogba. Well Drogba this time last season was being accused of diving. So far this season he's been positively thriving. That's Jeremy! <laughs> a goal by the Cameroon International 22 minutes and Jeremy delivers an absolutely perfect free kick and gets a handshake from Mourinho well whether West Ham were looking at Drogba or Lampard I'm not sure but Jeremy stepped up to the plate there there's a man on one post but he plants it inside the other one nothing that Robert Green could be expected to do about this it's the perfect flighted free kick. Jeremy, who last scored at Liverpool last season in a 4-1 win, registers here for Chelsea. And Cunicini has dropped the ball in a collision with Terry. Robin, oh, Shevchenko, and Chelsea are flying. Drogba is coming in from the far side. And Shevchenko played the pass too narrow. Well, the last time I saw Jeremy score from a free kick, it's just come back to me, England played Cameroon in a warm-up match before the 2002 World Cup in Japan. He was on target that day, but it wasn't as good a goal as that. Oh, Robin! What a good chance for 2-0. Drogba caused all the confusion in there and Arjen Robben had the opportunity. Bobby Zamora. Tevez, more central now. Koncheski. Bowyer's up for this, it's Rio Coca! Good sprawling challenge by Ashley Cole, the England fullback. What you have to say in this first half, West Ham have had bags of the ball, especially on their left. Bowyer flicked this on. Cole closing down Rio Coca. Corner to be taken by Etherington. Pity that the delivery wasn't better from the West Ham point of view. Tevez. But here's Etherington again. And now Rio Coca. Ferdinand stays forward. Tevez. Spectre still in there too. Bills for hands against Tevez, nothing given. And it's still gone West Ham's way. Etherington! And 
Etherington teed that up nicely for the volley. This is Shevchenko. Oh, Lampard! Could have been the goal that carried him beyond Dennis Wise's record. 76 from midfield Wise, but he played nearly twice as many games as Lampard has. More than that, in fact. Chelsea really did want to close that gap of three points on Manchester United before the two-metre week tomorrow. Lampard. Goalkeeper comes to meet Shevchenko. This is Essien. Good block and a poor shot. Well, there was a moment there where you wondered whether Green, having made his uh, clearance, would be able to do anything about the follow-up. Etherington. And once again, he's got Koncheski in support. Rio Coca. Oh, Bularuz has given that away to Mullins. This is Zamora. <laughs> West Ham have matched Chelsea in a number of areas, but just haven't, with one striker up, managed to create a proper chance. That's really how I would uh, read what's happened so far. Lampard with uh, Robin outside him. This is Essien. Oh, he's hit the base of the post. Cracking effort from Michael Essien. Green was diving in that direction. He didn't get a touch. He's played on the right flank since he came on, Joe Cole. Takes on Koncheski. And earns Chelsea a corner. Boularouz has come forward with John Terry this time. Oh, and Terry's there! How often does he do that? And how often do they fail to pick him up? Not just West Ham. That was what you must call a free header. Looks as though West Ham's long, unproductive away run is going to continue. Unless they come up with something... Unexpected. Meantime, it's Joe Cole for Chelsea. To Drogba! Offside! Offside, DDA Drogba. The delight turns to disappointment for the top scorer. And indeed, for those in the Matthew Harding stand at that end, it was very close, wasn't it? But the line suggests that Guy Beale, the assistant referee, was dead right. Coach checks the clock. It's Spectre. This must be the last knockings now for West Ham. Goalkeeper stays on his line. Ferdinand! Oh, there was half a chance that West Ham might salvage something in the dying seconds. He got away from uh, his marker there, Anton Ferdinand. Had he managed to direct the header a little bit better, they might have snatched a draw. As it is, the whistle goes. And Chelsea begin a testing nine days with a 1-0 win here, thanks to Jeremy's free kick. Halfway through the first half, West Ham with plenty of possession, but not enough punch. It's Chelsea 1, West Ham 0 in the London derby. We had enough uh, chances to, um, to score the second goal and probably to kill uh, the game soon, but we didn't. And after that, in the last... Uh, uh, five minutes, uh, they have uh, a lot of players up, they threw a, a couple of balls, uh, a couple of rebounds and you are in danger. But uh, I think the reality of the game is that we were the best team and we deserve the three points. The free kick come, I, I decided I went to the, to the ball first, I took the, uh, take the ball and then I, I asked to DJ and, and Tchenko to let me try my my chance and they, they, they let me. and. Uh, I uh, just tried to put it on top of in the, in the corner side and then I did it and it was nice. We made some great opportunities, particularly down the left, and delivered a lot of ball in the box without really uh, capitalising. But we pushed the champions today and uh, we've shown over the last three or four games that we're now becoming very, very competitive against anybody. Not totally. And what happens is you get indecision. This is against Middlesbrough earlier in the season. 
And all night long on this occasion, he was rooted to his line. But you watch his footwork here. He comes, then goes back. And what happens, the guys in front of him don't really know what's happened. And that ends up in the back of the net. Today, right from the off, he comes for this one. Semi collision with John Terry. John Terry, indecision. Then Carvalho, hand goes up there, apologised. Nobody knows what's happening. Again, the ball near in the box. He comes, collision with John Terry. And now it's getting serious because he's, the, the central defenders think he's coming every time. But this time, watch the footwork. Comes, goes back in his line, watch Terry. Terry does not deal with it because he thinks Kudicini is going to come. And in the end, this is what you call a Terry glare. Just stare at the keeper. And the reason for that is because he's right to the death. For 92 minutes he kept on run, but the end product just wasn't there. Confidence levels are low. I mean, this is against Ashley Cole. He runs out of play, picks up here, comes inside. It's a sort of sloppy pass. Makaleli gets possession. And every time he got in possession in dangerous positions, there's another one. Red cross ball comes back to him. Again, plays it inside, easily cut out. Again, that's Essien. And then the second half, great position here, overruns it, allows the tackle to come in, picks up there. Cool, that's shocking. And then, is this Tevez or Wayne Rooney? Yeah, unfortunately, it's Tevez. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm maybe being a bit harsh because.